G'day folks and welcome to the Easter 2017 edition of Gourmet Shed. And uh, what I'm doing this week is uh, mucking around with this uh, camera car. Uh, what I should say actually is that I'm, I'm going to redo a camera car because this one, if I can move close uh, to the camera and show you, is based on an old Tyco wagon and it's got these very small wheels and they're plastic and uh, as the thing is going around it makes a squeaking noise now it works fine and it sits nice and low but uh, it's just starting to bug me so this um, cradle came with the camera which is a topo topo which i got off ebay for 60 bucks and it's a it's a cylinder type camera uh, similar to a small torch and uh, yeah this fitting came with it and what i'm going to do is remove this fitting from the wagon all it is is a single bolt underneath and uh, I'm going to replace that wagon with um, a Hornby wagon this is an older Hornby wagon um, and it's got bigger wheels runs nicely uh, and the thing with it is that underneath it has four lugs uh, that hold the body on so I can just prise those open and lift the body off and then all we'll do is drill a hole through the center here to uh, take the screw fitting and uh, the beauty of this one is that uh, if I take the screw out again once I've finished using the camera I just pop the body back on it's back to a usable wagon uh, it's got the big couplings on it uh, that's something that could be modified later on but uh, at this stage we'll just concentrate on getting the wagon running with a camera on it so we need to do a little bit of work on these things, uh, so let's get into it. Okay folks, uh, I've put a bit of um, a block of wood into my drill press vise and I'm going to sit the wagon on top of that so that uh, there's something firm underneath the wagon when I drill through with this bit and then uh, I've marked out where the center of the wagon is and it's just simply a matter of lining it up with the the mark which is there and then all we have to do is drill the hole now we've got to be particularly careful with this so we've got to be very gentle and not force it just let the drill bit find its way through doesn't matter if we drill into the wood we went through Okay, well we'll clean that up and then we'll check it out for size with the uh, the bolt, but it should be right. Okay, that's a pretty good fit through there. So um, we'll just have to check it now and see if it needs a couple more washes on the bottom or whether I have to uh, shorten the length of that bolt to suit this. Because it was set up for the other uh, wagon which was a bit thicker. So we'll check that out and see what happens. Okay, there's two things. Um, firstly, the bolt is too long and there's these little projections just at the side that just a tad too narrow so I'll just have to trim them off a bit to um, to take this piece at the bottom the round bit and then we should be in uh, 
in business. Uh, I, rather than cutting the bolt, I might just add some more washers underneath. I think that will do the job. So we'll have a go at that and see how we get it to fit after that. Okay folks, sorted that out. Uh, filed a bit away so that the part will fit in. And uh, I've just added a nut onto the bolt as a spacer. And it all works fine. So um, all we've got to do now is try it out and see how it goes. Right folks, uh, here's the little sucker all set to go. And uh, this, is, this is the camera I'm talking about. Some of you would have seen this before. And I've actually done running sessions using this camera. But uh, we'll try it out on this new wagon and uh, see how it goes. Like I said, the, the previous wagon had a squeaky wheel and uh, the smaller the wheels over the old track, it's not so good. It's really better to have something a bit bigger that runs smoother. So we'll see how it goes. So um, we'll give it a run now. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'll start in a uh, new market sidings, which is a fiddle yard, and the, um, we'll use a little um, shuttle service. And uh, the little diesel will come out into platform four on Great Chesterford, then pull out onto the main line and go around through uh, uh, little barred field sidings, and then out of the sidings and then into platform three on Great Chesterford Junction. And it'll wait for a road there for the branch line. Uh, it'll cross the main lines and go out through the uh, workshop, up the incline into Little Bardfield, through Little Bardfield, out through into the uh, rear storage room over the uh, Cambridge Viaduct, up the incline again to Bamford, where it will terminate. And uh, then we'll send it back on a return journey where it eventually comes back down to uh, Great Chesterford Junction, but it will run into the main line, back through into uh, Little, Bardfield, Bill, Little Bardfield sidings, uh, then out again, and then back into Platform 4 on uh, Great Chesterford Junction, and then we'll send it out to Duxford, which is another fiddle yard where it will terminate. So, <laughs> hopefully it'll work. So let's give it a go. Right folks, here it is all set up to go, so I'll just um, run it round to the fiddle yard and then we'll be on our way.
folks, that's how it worked. Uh, hopefully it'll show up okay on the on the video. So uh, I'll go in and put that together now. But you'll see it as it happens. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of an unknown for me at the moment. But you know, it looks like it runs pretty smooth. So um, yeah, this is a uh, Topo camera, T O P O, and uh, I got it off of eBay. It's supposed to be a sports camera, uh, but I don't know whether the brand matters. I do know somebody that bought one of these after I used one and they couldn't get it to work. It was a dud. So just be careful. But if you can get a good quality one in the GoPro range or something, something similar, which is good, it'll be excellent. I think I may have been lucky with this one. I don't know. But anyway, I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, please bear that in mind. I was just lucky mine worked. Okay, so thanks. I'll see you next week. Cheers. Gourmet.